Greetings, small humans. Today we are going to talk about gravity, the force of gravity. Uh, we're going to define gravity, look at its effects, see what things cause gravity, etc. So let's move forward. So first of all, let's talk about what gravity is. It is a property of matter, which means that all matter, pencils, planets, plates, polygons, whatever, has gravity associated with it. Gravity, by definition, is a, an attractive force. It's a force of attraction, which means that all matter is attracted to all other matter. Everything is attracted to everything. So pencils are attracted to planets. Planets are attracted to pencils. Plates are attracted to polygons and vice versa. So every object pulls every other object towards it. It's kind of like tug of war. Um, every single thing has this gravitational force associated with it. The difference is that the more matter that you have in an object, the more molecules there are, then the harder it is going to pull. So the mass of the Earth, which is significantly more than the mass of the Moon, about six times, will pull more on the Moon than the Moon pulls on the Earth. But the Moon does exert a force on the Earth, it's just much less of a force because the moon has less mass, fewer molecules. Now, the closer an object is to another object, the harder it will actually pull that object towards it. So, Mercury, which is very close to the sun, is going to experience a much greater gravitational pull from the Sun than say Neptune because Neptune is so far away okay and we refer to that as proximity the International Space Station is orbiting the Earth and because it is not on the ground close to the Earth it's actually in almost a weightless state so this astronaut here, you can see her hair is floating um, up and it's basically experiencing a lack of gravity. And that's because they are so far from the planet's surface that there's not much gravitational pull exerted at that distance, not compared to being on the surface of the Earth. So the closer an object is to another object, the harder it's going to pull that object towards it. That's called proximity. Another aspect is that uh, the harder an object pulls on other objects, the heavier it is said to be. Okay, So mass directly affects gravity. The more mass something has, the harder it will pull. That's a fundamental of, of gravity, the more mass. So you might say, is gravity pulling us towards the Earth, or is the Earth pulling Let's see, is gravity pulling us towards the Earth, or are we pulling the Earth towards us? Well, both, actually. It's just that we can't tell that we are having an effect on the Earth because the Earth is so much more massive than we are, okay? I can have an effect on this coffee mug because I'm so much more massive than the coffee mug, all right? All right. Let's move forward. Earth's gravity. Because the Earth's mass is more than any object near or on its surface, the Earth pulls objects towards it. Right? Okay? Just like that. Okay? This thing is not nearly as massive as the Earth, so we get pulled towards it. The International Space Station would eventually come crashing down to Earth if it weren't held in orbit by occasional checks with 
certain bursts from rockets to keep it moving and moving in orbit. Um, apples fall to the Earth because the Earth is so much larger than the apples, right? Makes sense. I mean, we experience it every day. But it's all about how much mass there is on the thing that's near, nearest us. The nearest massive body is what we would say. So, why does Earth's gravity never change? I've heard that asked. Earth's gravity never changes because the mass of the Earth never changes. Remember that a property of gravity is that it's based on mass. The more mass something has, the more gravitational pull it'll exert. So, because our Earth is consistent in its mass, the gravitational force associated with it will never change, unless the mass of the Earth changes, which would be a, not a good thing. So what would happen if there were no gravity on Earth? Like you just, one day everybody's walking around and all of a sudden, no gravity. First, the air in the atmosphere wouldn't stay in place, so it would leap into space. So the atmosphere would disappear. Okay, uh, You can imagine what would happen then. Every living thing would die immediately, and all the waters on the Earth, the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, would boil away. And not boiling in the terms of heat, but boiling because of low air pressure. There would be no air pressure, so the water would just bubble out into space. It would be a terrible experience, I'm sure. Now, let's talk about weight and gravity. The moon. Everything weighs less on the moon because the mass of the moon is smaller than the mass of the Earth. Okay? The more mass an object in space has, the more gravitational pull it has. There's a link here, um, mass versus weight, and um, I'm going to put a link to that um, on the on the Canvas site, so you'll be able to pull that up. Uh, but fundamentally, the moon is one sixth the mass of the Earth, so everything weighs about one sixth on the moon compared to what it weighs on Earth. So if you weighed 60 pounds on the Earth, you would weigh 10 pounds on the Moon. That's the way it works. All right, onward. So check out how liquids behave in space. These two videos, Astro Puffs and Ringing a Washcloth, I'll put the links to those in the... Well, there you can look at them right there you can google them they're in youtube astro puffs and washcloth in space on the iss and also how do astronauts train for zero gravity there's a video of how um, astronauts train on the vomit comet which is basically a, a large jet plane that goes up very high and then it just nose dives and during the nose dive they basically create uh, a copy of the zero gravity environment that astronauts will experience. So uh, you want to definitely watch all of these videos. They are way cool. How much would we weigh on other objects? This is very interesting. I will put this link on the Canvas site as well. You can plug in your weight and see how much you'd weigh on different planets as well as uh, different stars, I believe, on that. That's gravity. Hang in there. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.